if you guys saw the Discord post and you saw my Tumblr post, you'll see that I mentioned that there is a, um, I have dark, dismal tidings, uh, in related to Beer Heaven, our um, dwarf fortress. So, uh, I'm gonna talk about that in just a minute. Um, after it loads all my dwarfs. So. Let me just give you all a quick recap of where we were at. We had just connected to the Underdark where it's all mossy here, a bunch of like mushrooms and all these things were here. A bunch of wild animals animals made their way in. We're making a bit of a kill box for them. Um, and then that's about it. We built the Claire's. Nothing else really has changed. We started building a wall around here with a pathway uh, leading to the entrance of our fort. Other than that, we didn't really make much progress other than, like, maybe a few quality of life things, like like putting some floors in right here. <laughs> or I think, like, finishing another guild. I think we did, uh, yeah, we did this craft dwarf guild right here. But there is a problem in our fortress that I'm going to elaborate on. So, before I tell you um, what the issue is, let me just kind of recap where we've been and the idea behind um, Beer Heaven, okay? So first of all, we established Beer Heaven. Let me open the world map. Where is the world map? So we established Beer Heaven on a desolate, not desolate, but on a remote island on the edge of the world with the intent to create a entire dwarven civilization bent on one goal and that one singular goal was to take the island's naturally occurring volcano and put the world's largest entirely made out of glass bar on it for it to be a destination resort spot for everyone across the world to visit right so for in the first few years, we've been doing infrastructure. We haven't really gotten around to that being our main goal. Um, we, like any capitalist desire in society, we've maybe veered off the main path a little bit, you know, with a, with an entire civilization uh, used to creature comforts, setting out to create an entire civilization on drinking booze. Uh, it's only natural that we would, of course, Firstly, develop a Walmart and a parking lot uh, just to give our citizens some reprieve um, before they enter their holy duty of becoming basically forever barmaids uh, to every single customer that comes here. So, yeah, we kind of lost sight for a little bit here. And as our fortress grew, we developed a lot more um, temples and guild halls our population skyrocketed as you can see by our apartment complex here we get 97 dwarves and a mayor who's been elected three times so they must be a good mayor or maybe there's no <laughs> no any other mayor with the ultimate goal at the end of the day once we had enough workforce to start generating clear glass so that we can cover the entire volcano floor with the intent to bring in new patrons. And for those who aren't familiar, when you build a bar or an inn or a tavern in Dwarf Fortress, um, you'll get visitors, generally speaking. You'll get visitors from all of the different countries. You'll get visitors who are like mercenaries. You'll get bards. Um, and then they'll all hang out. They'll drink your beer and they'll eat your food and they'll hang out in that, in that tavern and usually cause a ruckus, you know, bar fights will break out or you'll get people who join, who want to join your fortress who are of different, different walks of life. So if we had a tavern this big, ideally we would have elves, humans, goblins, uh, you know, we would get like were creatures, werewolves, were pigs where creatures like that, that would be kind of the dream. That's the dream scenario here. So that's what the the tavern would be for, right? It'd be built around this whole thing. Hello, hello, Haley. You got right in time for I'm about to I'm about to reveal 
some terrible news about Beer Heaven, our fortress resort. And now for the dramatic music. Did you shave? I am. I am looking smooth. I did shave. Thank you. I'm balder. Gate. Three. But now, now for the dramatic music. Are you guys ready? So here's here's the here's the kicker. We made one fatal mistake with our fortress. And I would argue it's the first thing we did when we embarked on our fortress quest to begin with in the in the first place. Now remember when I just said we set out to build our fortress here on a desolate island in the middle of nowhere at the edge of the generated world with the hopes that we would create an island resort in which people would come visit but there's one fatal flaw with that since we are disconnected from the mainland that means none of the civilizations the humans the other dwarves the elves, the goblins, the were creatures, necromancers, undead armies can reach our fortress. Which means even if we spent the years of time to build the grand tavern, no one would visit it. Which means we're alone. We are alone on our island. There is no tavern to be had here it would be for nothing the entire reason our fortress exists in the first place is moot now so what you're probably asking is this well ben what's the point well this is the point we're gonna have to turn to other means of entertainment you see the dwarves of beer heaven the faithful of the beer are devout devout creatures they want nothing more than to entertain but since they all want to entertain and they have no guests to entertain they're going to have to turn to new types of entertainment when hospitality fails bloodshed is the only other viable option and now you're probably wondering now ben ben they can't possibly start killing each other no no they would never kill a brother and sister of the faithful of beer, no. But one can. The only other resident of beer heaven. Limmy. Limmy the Cyclops is going to be the new goal of beer heaven. Gone are the days and the desires and the pipe dream of the Grand Tavern. Now... Now, it's blood. The age of blood begins. And so with that, the project has changed. Beer Heaven remains the same name it has. We can't change it. The Faithful of Beer is the same it is. But now our goal is different. Instead of the Grand Tavern, we are going to create the Grand Arena in which we will capture Limmy, the 334-year-old Cyclops, and we will turn them into a combatant in which we will wage holy arena wars with every single individual dwarf, one by one, engaging in holy unarmed combat with Limmy until only the strongest survive. Because we have to create the future for our dwarves now. The future that they were expecting is the one they can't get. And so we have to forge them in fire and prepare them for the for sweet, sweet silence of solitude. Okay. That's about it, really. That's the discovery I came to the conclusion of. Yeah, it turns out... Um, oh, thanks for that. Thanks. Cheers. Yeah, it turns out I fucked up. I messed up. <laughs> When you when you embark for the first time in Dwarf Fortress, it tells you if you're gonna have any neighbors when you land on a on a planet or a, on a on a location. Um, but uh, I wasn't paying attention. I was too dead set on it being a deserted island. Um, but 
if I, I were to go back and then bark again, it would say no neighbors, which means I will have no one visit me. Um, it's, uh, it's been nearly three years in game since we've settled. Normally you get raided pretty much constantly, whether it's from an actual horde of goblins and undead, or it's, uh, the occasional goblin thieves that come to steal your children. You get that, pr it's a pretty regular occurrence. If you have been paying attention at all, if you've watched the VODs or if you've been watching the streams, we haven't been getting any of that. None of that. We on The only reason we get new dwarves and trade at all is because the capital always visits and you always get migrants, no matter if you're connected to the mainland or not. Um, so the benefits are we will never have to worry about being raided by goblins. So I won't have to spend any time building elaborate dwarven machines to defend Beer Heaven. Since chaos and bloodshed will not be had by the enemies of Beer Heaven, we are going to have to generate chaos and bloodshed ourselves. So, with that being said, when I when I think it's about time we start building the great arena. So once we get this wall fully completed, we're gonna fill this sucker with glass. We're gonna send our elite peacekeepers the peace. We'll send the piece over there to capture him. And we will put him in a cage and we'll place him in the grand arena. And it will be plopped down. And he there he will live above the lava the rest of his life. And one by one, we'll roll. I'll create I'm gonna create a system in which rolls are dwarves. One by one, they will go into the arena barehanded, no weapons. And they will fight Limmy, the gigantic Cyclops. The giant depressed Cyclops, mind you. Until either one, they are victorious over Limmy. Or two, we run out of dwarves to fight Limmy with. So there it is. The Age of Blood begins. I'm very excited. I hope you're excited. Hope you liked my dramatic, uh, <laughs> dramatic retelling of why it's happening. Um, I realized that after last stream that I'm screwed. We raided a guy, um, zero by 20. He's another, another Dwarf Fortress streamer. And I got to talking about, um, my idea. And, uh, one of the chat members in there said like, but wait, you don't, aren't like, like, how is that going to work when you're not connected to the mainland? And I was like, huh? And I didn't say anything. I didn't like, I didn't ask them about this. I was like, like, oh, that's weird. And I Googled it. And yeah, uh, turns out that if you're not connected to the fucking mainland, you don't get any visitors and your, your tavern is only for the dwarves, which is fine if that's what you want. But we wanted visitors. We wanted an island resort that people would go to. So the added music was epic. Thank you. I felt that it did, I felt like it would have been more entertaining to tell you a little story than um uh just say oh uh oh, yeah, we're not doing the tavern anymore uh kill murder death murder and then just not elaborate which I guess has <laughs> would have been pretty funny but you guys deserve an answer so plus there's people people on YouTube are watching the vod so I got to give them I got to give them a piece de resistance So I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to get started right away. We're going to have to start cutting down. We're pretty much deforesting the entire mainland at this point because um, we're going to need a lot of trees if we're going to need, if we're going to be able to make clear glass. Oh my God, I had the same kind of experience Factorio. My friend and I got a lucky start, so we didn't deal with any enemies for ages. Yeah. That must have sucked. <laughs> that must have really sucked once your pollution levels got high enough to deal with a bunch of aliens. The aliens, in my opinion, are the worst part of Factorio. They're just there to make ruin your life. You're trying to sit there in blissful harmony with all the all your automation and all your your spaghetti, and then to get a giant horde of alien like bugs the like hours in, they just wipe out your factory. I would have quit playing. <laughs> I would have stopped. I would have been like, what the hell? These are in the game? And then I would have quit and been like, I never want to play this fucking game again. 
But I guess that's, I mean, you know. I don't know, losing is fun. This is what this game taught me. Yeah, I very fortunately, I guess, had a normal start when I when I did my playthrough of uh, Factorio. And I'm thankful I knew about the bugs at a time. Because I, I usually can't stand doing factory games where your factory can get blown up. Like he had started in the desert before and he kept upgrading our stuff because he knew what was coming, but it was blissfully unaware until red dots started showing up on the map. That's great. You must have gotten, yeah, you must have gotten like spawns really far away. I remember when that started happening, I would just shoot them manually and I got so sick of it. Like, why is this basalt here? Who is that? And I think I had one of my friends actually come on and build me a, um, build me a defense system that like where drones auto planted mines on the borders of my wall. And then that pretty much negated the problem. If they hadn't done that, I would have, I don't think I would have ever beaten the game. <laughs> I think I would have like quit playing. So without my friends helping, I would have, uh, I would have given up. So thank God they did. Okay. So here's the deal. We've got to, we got to start dismantling all of these floors. Um, make sure that they don't fall in the lava when they attempt to do so. Because we got to replace this with glass eventually. Yeah, we just had a whole forest to just radiate and ruin and it saved us from the aliens getting too angry until the forest died out. Incredible. Oh, that's true. I guess you, yeah, that's, I was trying to think here, like, how would you survive that long without the the aliens noticing and it's like i forgot that the forests absorb radiation in um in uh factorio lucky lucky and speaking of factorio for those who don't know what it is it's a uh, it's an automation top down tile based factory making game probably one of probably the best factory game ever made um and I've played a, a pl I played a good handful of them. It's still to this day nothing has ever beaten it. Um, it's probably yeah, it's so good. But um, I'm excited. That game is getting a selection of cavern collapsed. Say what? Fucking what? Oh right, right, right. I wouldn't call that cavern. That's just a floor, silly Billy. Um, I'm excited because I can't wait for the space DLC to come out. Where you go to space in that game. Wait, hold up. Wait, I'm just going to get rid of all these. I'm going to make this easier on myself. Just have it collapse into the lava. Like this. But who knows when that's going to come out. It's just like one guy who runs it, right? Just one guy who runs the... Uh, who makes the game. It's going to be years. We're not going to see DLC for another, I'm going to say three years at least. It was a great experience, my friend, but too daunting to get back into it myself alone. Yeah, I get that. I think for me, I ended up beating, oh, I, I fucked up. Wait, I fucked up. I fucked up. I think I actually, I fucked up. <laughs> I think I, uh-oh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't be dropping a bunch of stone in the lava. It creates lava mist. Oh, but I don't care. It's too tempting. We are in the age of blood after all. Hold up. So lava mist, for those who don't know, you can barely see it in the graphical version. You'll see it when this guy does it. So it's going to drop a bunch of smoke on the ground and a bunch of mist. And he died. And he died. Just like that, you're gone. And you're gone. The vo volcano takes another. Oh, Kyle. Kyle. Rest in peace, Kyle. Another a volcano takes another sacrifice. He's gone. <laughs> um, so let me let me use this as a beautiful educational moment for you guys. You can barely see it in the graphical version, which is why I'm gonna switch it over to the um, ACI mo version. So as you can see here, those yellow squares, that's that's magma mist right particles of molten lava in the air when the rocks fell 
when the when the stone fell into the ground, it splashed lava everywhere. Um. So, what we're lucky it didn't happen here. But normally, what would happen is if any dwarf would walk through that lava mist, they would be instantly immolated, instantly turn the ash. I guess we should be happy that you fell into the lava instead. Maybe it's a quicker death than being burned alive by lava mist. Is Milkable, Milkable Dwarf still around? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're still around. Well, hold up. I'm going to pause here. <laughs> I'm going to let him be suspended uh, in his fiery, soon-to-be fiery grave in a second. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple things real quick. Um, work order. Slab. I'm just going to make a slab. I'm going to make it out of... um pyrolucite because that's lava death i'm just gonna make that really quick um because he's not gonna survive this one let's um hold up follow him with the camera when, when is the music play this play the song the fuck Jesus there we go This is the worst. This is no way to treat a, this a, a, a dead soldier. He's gone. He's gone. He made it. He didn't even make it that far, to be honest. Kind of embarrassing. Rest in peace, Kyle. You will be remembered as 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 a as a fateful to the fateful of beer. A volcano. The only two deaths we've had the entire time. The, did someone die? Yes. Kyle tripped and fell into the lava and died. 2024 to 2024. He was a good man. Oh, shit. Did he have kids? Wait, where is he? It's not showing. It's not showing him. He doesn't. He stopped existing. He died so hard. He lost. It'll tell me he's gone in a minute. His last dying messages. The stone crafter's lower arm took the full force of the impact, but is deflected by the stone crafter's pigtail shirt. He's caught in a burst of red sand. He regains consciousness. He stands up, and then in his final moments, he is no longer stunned. And then the lava took him. I don't think lava leaves behind a ton. I don't think it does either. But the game is supposed to tell me that he is um, dead. So I guess we have to wait a bit for that so rest in peace Kyle we're building your slab right now we just have to wait for the game to recognize that you died wait 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 we had 97 wait we had 97 dwarves did more die did more dwarves die was Kyle not the only one Okay, now I gotta watch this carefully. These guys are gonna like fuck things up. I think I think four dwarves drowned. I think four dwarves died in the lava. I think we lost four dwarves to the lava today. 
The other ones died so fast they disintegrated. I did Kyle was the one who he actually died the slowest. That's a slow, painful death he experienced. As the lava took him and embraced him. The great volcano. Are people just dying when I'm telling them to dis disassemble? This is dangerous. <laughs> Kyle to Kyle the second. All right. <laughs> Congratulations. Kyle the second. Reborn again. As a carpenter. From a stonemason to a carpenter. 87. Hold up. I got to read your. Values martial prowess. Values decorum. Good memory, high social awareness, good with language, not creative. Begins to talk rapidly when she gets angry. Doesn't seek out excitement, has a notable, notable lack of perseverance, tends to hang on to grievances, doesn't cling tightly to ideas and is open to changing their mind, enjoys the company of others, somewhat uncomfortable around those that appear unusual or live differently from themselves. So racist. You were reborn racist and a woodworker. We can't win the, you know, we can't all win the lottery. Um, you like native silver, regular silver, tiger iron, buzzard parchment, the color periwinkle, barrels, llamas for their jutting teeth, giant platypuses for their flat tails, the sound of the smile of verse and the sight of the poetic desserts. When possible, you prefer to consume giant weasel sh shad, llama cheese, and parsnip wine. That's nasty. Oh, I guess that's parsnip wine's kind of like vodka. So I guess that's not, I mean, not the best, but not too crazy. You absolutely detest, detest purring maggots. There you go. Welcome, welcome back to the land of living. Okay, I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to have to slowly but methodically get rid of these floors. Like one by one. I, I realize now I've made a grave error. Oh my god, these children. Who let, see, who's letting these children like, on this walkway? This should be forbidden. Only designated workers on this one. The game... St I think... I shit you not. I think, like, you died so fast in the lava, they haven't even realized that you're missing yet. Kyle? They may not even mourn your death. <laughs> Wait, and there's these fucking, these birds everywhere still. What is going on? Is my game bugged? What is this? Uh-oh. Dwarven, uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh my god, he had a baby with him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did you think it was a good idea to disassemble a walkway over lava with a child in your hand, Kyle? <laughs> he killed himself with a baby in his hand. Um. Wow. <laughs> I guess I gotta make another one, huh? I was wondering why the number was smaller than I remember. Oh, geez. I guess I got to make another fucking slab. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Door Fortress just got fucked up. Hey, you know, it's good. We're entering the Age of Blood um, with a bang. So... I think this is nothing but a good, this is nothing but a good time. I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, it's springtime, the end of winter. Perfect way to end a winter. Yeah, I'm having what the game would call fun. This is why we're entering the age of blood because other, I was kind of fully expecting the fun to happen without my consent. But now I have to have consensual fun. Unfortunately for me, I have to do all the work to make sure the fun happens. I was kind of hoping we'd get attacked by, like, frogmen or something. That is unfortunately not the case. Alright, we have to engrave a memorial slab. 
for for Uvash. Oh no. No. Oh god, we lost so many dwarves. We lost Mega Dodo. One, two, three, four. Oh my god. How did how did I miss that? How did I miss all three of them? How how many? That means there's one more. There's one more missing. Oh, son of a bitch. We gotta do another one. New task. All taken. All taken by the by the lava. Oh boy. This is not looking good. And there's the fourth one. Oh, you were last, Kyle. You were last to go. So never mind. It was two unnamed dwarves died. One with a baby in their hand died first. And then you decided, ah, why not? Well, shoot. Hey, but that's Dwarf Fortress, baby. Welcome to the real game, motherfuckers. We've been playing on easy mode this whole time. This is the shit that's supposed to be happening. A new task. Um, Alright, we're all good here. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Two named dwarves died. What are the odds? You know what I mean? That's a damn shame. All right. Engrave memorial slab. All right, we've got to store this memorial slab. We got to expand our um Our catacombs. Here are our catacombs. Rest in peace, Arvid the Music. And now we've got to add more, more to the fire, unfortunately. So, um, let's see. Uh, furniture, slab, memorial to Uvash. And then we'll um, engrave one for... Irvad, we'll engrave one for Nomal, we'll engrave one for Domus. We have enough pyrolucite? We do. Plenty of pyrolucite. Plenty. We've got to expand our catacombs more. That shit's about to become a mass grave, I tell you what. things here. We got three. A Deorite memorial? I did not know. What? I want the Deorite one. What? Pyrolucite, you dumb motherfucker. Have some respect. Don't make it out of Walmart blue. You're, you're insulting both Walmart blue and the victim of the volcano. How are they going to know it was a volcano death if it's not made of Pyrolucite? The audacity. Alright, we're gonna memorialize Domus. Who was, uh... Unnamed. It's the dwarven baby. Rest in peace. Little Domus. Gone too soon. Gone too soon. Um, let's see. Workshop. No, no, no. Furniture slab. Normal, and then Dumas.
I don't know why I turned on the turn. I don't, how do I turn on hills? There we go. I don't need hills turned on. Finally, another slab, and then we're going to memorialize, last but not least, who have we not memorialized yet? We have got Domus, Normal, Arab. Where is it? Who have we not done yet? It's hard. I wish it gave us the nicknames here. It's really frustrating that it doesn't. Uvash, Domus, Nomal. Wait, why is base slut not working? Base slut should work. Base slut emote should work. Custom. Base slut. Yeah, there it is. It's only a 30 second cooldown. I don't know why base slut's not working. Works for me. I guess I get special privileges. I get big boy privileges. User level everyone. Everyone should be able to use it. I don't know. I'm going to lower the time. Maybe like it's the time. I guess I'm the bait slut. Yeah, you put three S's. Yeah, because it's base and slut. Look at these. They're just... <laughs> these fucking elk birds are just running around now. They're stuck up here. Forever. Until they starve to death. But you know what? Let's keep them. They bring, they, they bring a, a, a simple je ne sais quoi to the fortress. They kind of look like freaky little jackalopes. Let them, let, them, let them meander around. Okay, so we have one for... Domus... Uvash and Nomal. We need one for Urvad. Perfect. There we go. Now it's working. Perfect. Yeah, it was a cooldown thing. I reset the cooldown. There we go. Beautiful. If only I can make it... No, that would be terrible for me. I don't know why I even let that thought partially come out of my mouth. Imagine if I had a exclamation point command that just played base slut. That sounds like hell. You guys would be like, no, please, please, please. Please do base slut. Please do base slut. But you know. The fuck? The elk bird. Wait, we can't keep the elk birds around. The fucking elk birds are. Stop. They're fighting. The dogs are attacking the elk birds. There's blood all over. It's a sacred. There's blood all over a sacred place. This is a church. They're in a church. God, the we we called we we started the age of blood and with it, and it begins. It begins. It was destiny. The dog scratches the elk bird in the head, tapping the target, denting the skin, bruising the fat, tearing the fat, bruising the muscle, tearing the fat, bruising the muscle, twist the neck. Holy shit, it scratched the neck so hard it twists the neck, but they jumped away. The dog misses the elk bird. The elk bird misses the dog. The dog scratches it again, denting the skin. The bird snatches the dog in the leg, tearing the muscle. But the dog attacks. Oh my god, they're like neck and neck. The elk bird snatches the dog in the right paw. The artery's been opened by the tech. The sensory nerve has been severed. This elk bird's kicking his ass. The peace! Attack! Attack! Kill! Kill the elk bird! Kill the elk bird! Slay it! Slay it while it's weak! Kill! Cowboy Snoopy! Cowboy Snoopy in is, is fighting. Cowboy Snoopy's fighting. The hammer the Cowboy Snoopy bashes the elk bird in the left foot with his copper war hammer, fracturing the bone. You're fighting an elk bird right now. You're fighting this. You're killing this fucking little freak. He attacked one of our dogs. He attacked our dogs. So we kill. 
ligaments been bruised. You're just beating the shit out of their ribs. Their ribs are fractured. You hit them in the head, ripping the skin of the head. You hit it in the neck with your hammer. You hit it in the tongue with your hammer, crushing it. The force bends the head, tearing apart the skin and bruising the upper spine's nervous tissue. And he's uh, gone. One fell swoop. One fell swoop. The hammer dwarf bashes them in the, in the neck, tearing the upper spine's nervous tissue. You keep just hitting them in the leg. You hit them in the arm, the lower leg, the antler. And then finally, you... Oh my god, you are sick. You sick bastard. You beat them half to death with your giant war hammer and then decide to land the killing blow by biting it in the left kidney. The hammer dwarf bites the elk bird in the lower body, tearing the fat and bruising the left kidney. The hammer dwarf latches on firmly. Cowboy Snoopy says, I have improved my hammer. That was satisfying. They scratch the elk bird in the left leg, tearing the fat. Oh my god. And then, finally, the hammer dwarf bashes the elk bird in the head with his copper war hammer, bruising the muscle, jamming the skull through the brain, and tearing the brain. Thus ending the life of the elk bird. Dump it. I, I do not wish to see it anymore. I do not wish to see what it has done anymore. No more. Nay. You, this guy's getting fucked up. Dwarves aren't such nice little guys like I initially thought. I know. Look, I know. See, you I, you guys were spoiled. These guys were way... They were, they were more like gnomes, less like dwarves. But this... This is the real dwarf fortress. This is the real dwarf fortress. Blood and mayhem. All right, one last memorial slab. Wow. The Age of Blood. Four dead to the lava. The only dwarves to die were from were sacrifices to the great lava, the great volcano. The great fiery beer stein of beer heaven. Get a little beer in the dwarf and they go ape shit. I go a little, get a little crazy when I get the liquor in me. I go a little crazy when I get the liquor in me. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I gotta kill the rest of these birds, man. I kill the rest of these damn birds. Oh, and then Arvid the Music Jr. carries the dead bird with its collapsed skull. I mean, if these birds keep attacking my damn dogs, I may have to. I'm going to keep doing it, though. I may keep them around, you know, to see how long these elk birds survive before they make another false move, like trying to kill one of our dogs. It's more exciting that way. Anyways, evis uh, evaporate. Evaporate the elk bird. Somebody pull the lever. Evaporate it. Send it to the nether realm. Come on now. And he's gone. Oop. No more elk bird. Erased from the face of the earth. Rest in peace. All right. Back to it. Slowly but surely. Once we get rid of all this floor here, we'll be safe. This is going a lot faster than I thought it would. This is great. Someone get these fucking kids out of here. More kid people are going to slip and fall into the damn lava if they keep doing this shit. Are you kidding me? God, this is like... 
<laughs> this is dangerous. They don't know. They they have really no any self-preservation. I wouldn't be surprised if a dwarf already fell in. And I just didn't catch it. My God. This like doesn't perturb, doesn't bother any of you, sick freaks. The hell's going on? And look, none of the dwarves seem to be mad about the dwar other dwarves dying. I think they're, I think they're big fans of the. I think they're like religiously fanatic about the lava now. I think they see it as a sign. It's probably like an honor to die by the la the lava. At this point. in there they get drunk and see hot tub that's so true I mean they are drunk 24 7 so all of them see hot tub but they're like no I must resist the urge tonight nay I mustn't come on now you're almost there just a couple more blocks just a couple more blocks and then we can finally start constructing glass. Once we get the last floor deconstructed, it's time. It's time to deforest the island. We don't need to keep the island beautiful anymore. No. We will cut down every tree. Every tree will fall. it all down because we need a lot of lie if we're gonna make white glass so many trees just get them all in there just chop them all up deforest the whole damn island I'll get a crap While they're doing that, I'm going to make some pickaxes or uh, some hatchets. Copper axe. All right, so we need to do some stuff here. Um, Citizens. I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. Dang it, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that log. Shoot. Hold up. I lost it. I need to remember, it doesn't give me the nicknames when I, when I uh, memorialize someone. So I need to put the nicknames on um, manually. So I don't remember who's the who who was uh named what now. Shit. Combat. Um, what else? What am I looking for? Death. Dang it. I don't know who's who. And I can't look at my I can't look at my citizens anymore because they're dead. And it doesn't register them as dead or missing because we've uh we've memorialized them so they're gone. Socialize, 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 socialize. Watch clothing demonstration. That's fun. I didn't know they do that. They do little demonstrations like that. Neat. Um, okay, I guess uh I guess um I'm pretty sure Irvad was cart. So I'm gonna name this R.I.P. Cart. And then I'm pretty sure Nomal was Megadono, which I, I do not remember the name. It was PPM, it was like PPM Mega Dodo, one, two, three, four, five, five. Pretty sure that was their name. Close enough. 
Who cares? They're dead anyways. Um, all right. DD Mega Doodoo. Nice, got him. Hey, owned. Hey, you owned them. Is this... Okay, this is not closed. Why is this not... Show linked building. Pull. Pull this lever. I don't want anything coming from the from the caves into my house anymore. Thank you. There we go. Now we're we're safe from any invaders from the cave. All right, it's time. It's time to make clear glass. Let me look up how to make clear glass. Clear glass. Door fortress. I don't know why I just googled clear glass. Oh, ooh, wow, cups. Nice. Fuck. Yes. I love those. Holy shit. All right, let me go. Glass. Pearl ash. Pearl ash can be created in a kiln with a furnace operator. It requires one unit of potash and whatever fuel is necessary to run the kiln. Requiring you to burn one wood to ash. Pearl ash is actually one of the most labor intensive products in the game to produce. Nice. Pearl ash is produced in bars of no quality level. These bars can be stored in bar stockpiles and viewable as stocks under bars. Potash. Okay, so potash is made in an ashery with ash or lye. Burning logs. We need to make a bunch of ash. I'm just going to make a shit ton of ash. And then make a bunch of pearl ash from that. So this is going to take a very, very, very long time. Which means I'm going to need to create a special operation for this. We need to make a wood burning station. The holy wood burning station. And I think what better place to make the holy wood burning station than right next to the graveyard. Genius idea. So we just need a bunch of wood, wood furnaces. I think six, no, fuck it, eight. Eight wood furnaces will be enough. And then we'll burn a bunch of ash, turn it into pearl ash. And then with pearl ash and sand, you can make clear glass, which is clear glass. Ooh. Toulon, the armor has been possessed. Exciting. Where are you, Toulon? Beautiful. Strange mood. Um, we're gonna go see what they're gonna work on. Um, pearl clear glass has the same rarity and price as most gems. So imagine we're making um we're making an entire arena made out of diamonds. Alright, so what's he what's he making here? Let's see. So he claimed a furnace. Copper. Ooh, green glass. He could have picked any other gem, but he had to pick beer bottle glass. Ooh, well, he's bringing. Looks like he's bringing a rock in, a rock of some kind. Marble. Ooh, he's not done. Oh my god, and elk bird leather. Ooh, and master pigtail cloth. More gems. Rose cut green glass. Jeez, this guy's this guy's making a crazy artifact, whatever it is. Could be made of copper, marble, green glass. What else is he grabbing? Looks like he grabbed an, he's grabbing another rock. He has andesite, of course. It's gotta be made out of andesite. Otherwise it won't be made by beer heaven. This thing's gonna be an expensive artifact. All right, there you go. He's not done. And made cave spider silk. He's making Arkham Oz. Guess we'll wait for that. Holy shit, the damn elk birds again. This motherfucker. These elk birds hate dogs. Where's the fucking elk bird? My dog is seriously injured. No! I fucking do kill the dog kill the dog 
Heal it. I don't think we can. Elkbird, you. You're fucked. You're fucked. You're done for. The peace will take care of you. Heck. There we go. Aren't they attacking? Confirm. No target. Confirm. There we go. There we go. And now we watch for him his inevitable death. Ooh, he's getting killed by Mafool Moodlemant. Let's see what the combat is like. Looks like um both Mafool and Daniel are fighting. Looks like Daniel just uh hit it in the spine there. Mafool hit it in the guts. Mafool says, the battle rages. I feel no terror. Battle rages on. Beating the, I mean, they're beating the shit out of this bird. What else you got, you got me to say? Bird dead. Bird gone. Over for the bird. It charges at the dog. The dog kicks its ass, but it, the dog gets hurt in the process. And then it gets exhausted from fighting the dog. And then it gets up after fighting the dog. It runs away. The hammer dwarf catches it, hits it in the skull 700 times with a hammer. Like they're playing whack-a-mole. Hits it in the ribs. Hits it in its arms. Hits it in the left antler. They're basically exclusively aiming for the head, and then the kill. If he passes out from exhaustion, this bird gives up, no longer fighting, just sitting there limp. And my the dwarves are just sitting there with copper hammers as big as their foreheads, just bashing, beating a dead elk. Um, and then you they, they explode. The hammer dwarf bashes the elk bird in the head with her copper war hammer, and the injured part explodes into gore. And they're dead. Trash them. One more elk bird to the pile. If they didn't keep attacking my damn dogs, maybe I wouldn't be, uh... I wouldn't be so inclined to kill them. I go for the crippling shots. I don't want them walking away. That's true. You want to clean... Clean... Just, like, plenty of time to aim right for the skull. All right, time to, what is this? Oh, let me guess, there's an aquifer. Just get over yourself. Get over yourself, will ya? This has to be against the Geneva Convention. You see, Corn Man, we're on, a, we're on a desolate island. We are in no man's land. We're in ungovernable territory. No one can visit us. No one can stop us from enacting the law the way we want to. And if we want to create a fucked up drunken death cult, nobody can stop us. Oh, migrants have arrived somehow. Hey, they heard there's a death cult forming. Let's get in on this. No! What? Oh, it's, oh, it found one of our old dead dogs. Now what are you going to do? I thought that was the one one of the elk birds tried to kill. I was going to get so pissed off. Toulon, the armor, has created Arkhamaz, a copper greaves. She offers it to the faithful of beer. Objects, artifacts, the race of caves. This is a copper greaves. All craft, craft dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with cave spider silk and encircled with bands of copper cushion marble cabochons and pigtail. I'm sorry, it's, in band, it's encircled with bands of copper cushion marble cabochons and pigtail. This object menaces with spikes of elk bird leather. On the item is an image of Skinny Branded, the golden spear in green glass. 
On the item is also an image of Tossed Bell Seasons, the dwarf, and dwarves in green glass. Tossed Bell Seasons is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of the dwarf Tossed Bell Seasons to the position of king of the machine of extrication in year one. On the item is an image of four cacao trees in andesite. Beautiful. Giant earthworm is fighting. Oh, God damn it. it. A giant earthworm killed the dog. It's always the... We got to just like... We got to start hunting down. We got to start capturing those earthworms so we can kill them in ritualistic sacrifice in the name of our, our fiery god. I'm getting sick of it. We got to start building cages. It's time. Cages. Crap components. Topper. No, I'm just going to do this. Work... Work order, copper cage. We're going to forge 10 copper cages. It's time to start capturing these worms and then using them in combat. I'm sick of this crap. All right. How's our wood collection going? How are we looking on wood? A lot of wood built up. It's time. It's time to make the work orders for it. I need them to mine this. I so desperately need them to mine this. Why aren't they doing so? Why is no one mining? It's just damp. It's damp. It's fine. It's just water. It's just a little bit of water. It didn't hurt nobody. Just mine it. labor miners oh right two oh fuck two of our miners fell to the lava ah shit oh do we even have enough pickaxes oh we have plenty <laughs> i forgot two of our best miners they fell into lava and died so we only had two miners now there we go now they're gonna start mining Congratulations. 115 dwarves. We need to start killing these guys in, in 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 painful rituals. We need to start capturing Lemmy. Like, we're running out of time here. We keep... Our population's getting too big. I don't even... We need to start killing them. We gotta start culling the population. This is going to get ridiculous. Why is no one mining? An industrialist monopoly when child labor laws were created. So true. Red sand, it's great, cool, red sand. That's awesome. Just, just mind the wall. Don't be scared. We can always build walls. All right. So this is gonna be the holy wood burning place once they finish patching in these walls. we won't get any leaks that will freaking suck we'll put some floors on the ground too so they don't that doesn't leak either we can't be you know you can never be too sure there we go everybody start laying the floors down that's what's up you know what i also need to start doing we have a lot of cloth i think now that we're a cult it's time to it's time to make people wear hoods Work order, cloth hood. Make 10 cloth hood when the amount of unused plant cloth is greater than 10 and the amount of hoods available is less than 10. Beautiful. Now we'll start making cloth hoods and hopefully they'll just start wearing them. Soon we'll get a bunch of hooded dwarves. Very thematic. Oh, 23 dwarves are now like mediocre. We got like 23 new fucking guys. I got, I don't got enough beds. I never got enough beds. 
You know, always need more beds. The the giant apartment complex is becoming unbearably huge. I guess that's the price for progress, huh? All right, let's see here. One more level down should do. excited for Stardew Valley tomorrow? You can drink mayo and have a meadow farm. Wait, what do you mean meadow farm? What's a what's a meadow farm? Is that the new a new farm type? I admittedly haven't read the update too much other than the only thing I remember from skimming it is that they will have, villagers will have winter clothes now. Comes with a coop and two chickens. Oh, fun. Special grass for livestock? Oh, cool. So it's a livestock farm? Oh, that's fun as hell. That's really cool. I don't know if I'm going to play tomorrow. Maybe. I might watch Autumn play. It's really just going to depend. That's exciting. I love how you can drink mayo now. That's kind of good. It's good that you can actually finally eat mayo. Oh, it's leaking regardless. Ah, shit. Fuck. Ugh. Okay, um, what do we do here? Let's see. I don't know if I can get rid of it by, hmm. I hate to do it, but I think I have to do it. I think I just have to designate this whole area a wall so it doesn't leak anymore. It's gonna look ugly, but whatever, whatever. Workshops, furnaces, wood furnace. Boom, bang. It's a bunch of wood furnaces. We also need asheries. We need a bunch of asheries as well, which I've realized I did not make the space for, which I will make the space for in just a minute. I think I'll just make three. You know what? Maybe just three is enough. And then we make three asheries. Why not? We only have one. Okay. Damn. Very annoying. Work orders. Bucket. Wood. Bucket. We need... Two wood buckets. Another work order. Barrel. Wooden barrel. Two wooden barrels. So the special grass for livestock, what is that supposed to mean? Like, is it just, like, grow quicker? Or is it, like, not get destroyed as quickly? Messy, messy boys. Messy, messy. All right, it's time. Work order. Create ash. Make ash. Make ash when the amount of logs available is greater. I'm going to say greater than 10. No, greater than 15. We'll do actually greater than 20 because... We need logs for other things. Greater than 20 when the amount of ash available is less than less than 20. Make 10 ash. We'll do make 9 ash because that's even across our wood burning. And then make 
Pearl Ash when the amount of... Oh no, we need... We need Potash first. Just kidding. Just kidding. Make Potash from Ash when the amount of Ash available is greater than 9 and the amount of Potash available is less than 20. Make 9 Potash from Ash. And then make Pearl Ash when the amount of Potash is greater than 9 or is uh, honestly greater than 1. And the amount of per Pearl Ash is less than 9. And then... Tweaking some things here. And then finally, make clear glass blocks. When the amount of pearl ash available is greater than one. And the amount of sand bearing items is greater than one. And the amount of clear glass blocks available? Nope, just make them forever. Make glass blocks forever. Perfect. So, what that should do is over time, eventually, um, eventually make it so, um, we just generate glass blocks over time. So what we need to do to, to accommodate this is cloth bag. We need to make some more cloth bags. Make like six of them. So we can collect more sand. Because we're already collecting more sand. Why is there a pool of rum here? What are the... Hey. Why is there a pool of rum? Hey, our first robe. Look at that. I mean, it's questionable why it's white. I don't know why it's white robe. I think we have to dye things for that, which is concerning. Do we have any dimple cup dye? We have a lot of dimple cups. We need to make some dye. What color are the hoods you're making? They 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 start they're made out of pigtail cloth. Pigtail cloth is supposed to be blue. So I don't know why it's not blue. Interesting. I don't know where to dye. I think we have to dye clothes separately. Hold up. Let me see if we have any dye. Do we have any dye? We don't. So we need to start making dye. Work orders. Dye. Or mill. We got a mill. Hold up. Quern. New task. Work order. Mill plants. Very frustrating. I have to, um, can't, I'm gonna have to create a separate quern that pulls from a very specific, very specific, um, stockpile. So that's what we're gonna have to do here. So I'm just gonna put that in here because I have all this space in the farmer's guild anyways. This is gonna be, um, exclusively dimple cup storage. Custom. Food. I think it's food. Sewing line. Dimple. Plants. Dimple cup. Exclusively dimple cup. Dimple cup. And then 
I'm gonna have to build another quern. Tell him to stop storing dimple cup here. No more. No more dimple cup. Then we have to build another quern in the stonemation shop. Add new task. Quern. And then someone's just gonna be making blue dye all day. <laughs> I'm not gonna have every one of my dwarves in white hoods. <laughs> I can't allow it. I will not allow that. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> For obvious reasons, that cannot happen. Ashery. Another Ashery. Yeah, little party hats. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. All right, I'm going to move all the ash production, all the ash storage here as well. Bars, other material, ash, potash, pearl ash. And then just got to make sure this i to make sure this storage isn't fully ambiguous. Okay. And then this stuff, we don't need any. Oops. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, my God. I just fucked up so royally. Oh, I fucked up so bad. I just, made, I just undid every single custom thing I had. Oh, that's so annoying. I have to do every single fucking custom thing again. The worst. This is the worst. Truly terrible. Um, okay. So no stones. Oh, that's just frustrating. Um. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Son of a bitch. It's like, imagine you had an Excel sheet that organized all of your items in very particular ways. And then you press delete, and it was the one version you had. You have to rewrite it. You've had it for years. Years. That's what just happened. So now we have to, because now I'm going to have to reference a bunch of things. I'm going to have to go to here and see, like, what do I have here? So it looks like only masterwork furniture can be here, and actual gems can be here. So that means no masterwork furniture can be here. In fact, I think all furniture is here. Yeah, so furniture, finished goods, and glass gems are here. So basically, no, no gems, um, no furniture, no finished goods. Wait, no finished goods of anything but high quality. Because this is very specifically everything but high quality. And it also can't have armor, backpacks, footwear, handwear, headwear, legwear. So it can't have that either. So I can't have any armor, backpacks, footwear, handwear, headwear, legwear. What else? Oh, the worst the most annoying. I don't think I can have metal bars. Yep. No blo metal blocks or no metal bars. So no metal bars or metal blocks. There. Now I also can't have crystal. I'm, I'll do crystal glass. That's fine. Glass is fine. Wood is fine. Stone is fine. Can't have, don't have ash, pearl ash, potash. Cloth is fine. Coins. Yes. Weapons and traps, yes. Everything else seems to be okay. Think that I think that's everything. Oh yeah, no food. No drinks. Only food. Let me double check that. Nope, this is just all food. So I'm actually gonna get rid of all food here. No food. Either. Okay, I think that solves everything for us. 
Damn, that was that was scary. I'm luckily luckily I, for, I remembered it all. Oh, how annoying. All right, we have a millstone. We have the quern done yet? All right, the quern's being worked on right now. And the ash is being moved to our new factory. Yes, there we go. So potash, ash, all of the bars are going to be here. So they don't have to walk so far to make all this crap. Oh, that was almost a nightmare. And then let me make sure my block storage is fine. So bar, finished bars vending machine. The only metal bars. We are also going to do... We're also going to do... No, we're not going to do any of that. Yeah, only metal bars. We're going to have a separate bar storage here, which is what that this, this carved out chunk is going to be. Once they're finished mining that nonsense. Wait, someone has a blue hood. Wait, maybe the hoods... Wait, maybe the hoods are just different colors by default. We don't have to worry about it. think also there's this this there's there's this artifact to, the very first artifact our place ever made was a toy hammer and it's just been passed from kid to kid whoa whoa we have an angry dwarf who's disappointed who's pissed hey why are you pissed why are object be with family be a friends be creative eat good meal be extravagant well shit man he's greedy and overbearing avoids excitement i don't know what to tell you, my guy. Maybe you should stand under the waterfall or something. <laughs> you know? Like, take it easy. Don't tell me we got more. Okay, we don't have more, guys. Like, what are your thoughts? Dejected after being unable to acquire something for too long. Lonely after being away from family for too long. What object do you want to get? I don't know how to get that for you, buddy. What object do you want? You, there's plenty of objects. Do you like things that are, like, really annoying? Doing nothing creative. Unfocused by unmet needs. Level-headed after drinking. Lack of decent meals. She's not distracted being able to fight. I'm going to create a... A new work order to make fine meals. Kitchen. Prepare fine... No. Yeah, fine meals... When the amount of when the amount of unrotten cookable items is greater than ten, and the amount of unrotten prepared meals is less than less than we'll do is 115 dwarves less than 30. There we go. Now the kitchens will be making lavish meals. So that guy will finally be happy. That son of a bitch. Okay, I emptied... Emptied this. So this is all this is all coming together great. Fantastic. The furniture's being all moved here, which is fantastic. That means it's all getting uh, bejeweled, which is great news. Have we produced... We produced any anything yet any glass yet green glass you know what we're gonna build another we're gonna build another um, magma glass furnace this one's gonna be exclusively exclusively for making um, clear glass Cages are being built. Fantastic. 
I don't know where I don't know what they're doing with this. This is is this just gonna be here forever? I think so. Weird. I guess they can only have 12 bins for some odd reason. And then so, so much weird shit's going on. Just like, my guy, just, uh, come on now. Mind that. Mind those walls. Silly Billy. Just mind the wall. You have the means. And you know what? Don't mind the wall. See if I care, actually. Huh. Actually, I don't care. Don't mind the wall. Hmm. I don't care. This is going to have... Crystal... Crystal and clear glass exclusively. Exclusively. Clear glass. Clear glass supplies. Beautiful. And then this... We've got to change some work orders here. The green glass... Can use... Two shops max. And we're gonna do another work order. I think we already have it actually. Yep. Beautiful. They're doing it. They're making clear glass, I think. Eventually, yes. Yes, it's happening. We begin. We begin soon. It's all coming together. They should bring it down. Look, they should be bringing it down soon. Our first clear glass block. Unless, of course, clear glass block. Where are they? Ooh, ooh, no, 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 you can't have clear glass blocks in here. No, no, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's not where that goes. But we do have one block. They will be moving it, but check this out. So we, now we have clear glass blocks in stock, and we're going to lay down the first ceremonial clear glass block. I'm excited. Here we go. I think we'll lay it down. Yeah, right above the lava, I think. Yep, right on top of it. Actually, no. One block above it. The ceremonial first clear glass block. Here we go. Let us observe it, and then we'll we'll call it. We'll call it the night. Yes. You just gotta wait. Upgrade oh, a new mandate. Mandated the construction of certain goods. Make hatch covers, one of one. I've, I've already done so. But I'll, I'll make another just to make you happy. make one out of um, wood or no copper hatch cover we have plenty of copper make one make one of those oh there it is and there it is the ceremonial first gla clear glass can you see it can you see the vision imagine that glass on this entire volcano you can see it perfectly underneath it. Ooh. This is the almost the beginning of the end. The beginning of the end. Can't wait. Ooh, I can't wait. 
All right. That is going to be it for the night. Little update on everything. We are pivoting hard over to uh, ritualistic blood sacrifice uh, since we can't run a, a, a resort. Um, that's the next logical step. Um, we started building hoods for everyone. Everyone's hoods are... What I'm realizing now, the hoods are based on their clothing color. So if they have all white stuff, it's because they have white clothing. So it depends on their... So we don't have to worry about dye so much. Thank God. So we're actually safe. Um, other than that, we started building cages. We are in the middle of m making the machinations for our blood cult. We have made the logical first step of making a clear glass block floor. And soon we will just be generating clear glass blocks like crazy. And it will be glorious and beautiful. Just making one more check here to see all these fucking block bins. So annoying. So annoying that they put the whole bin in there. That's just so counter... So fucking counterproductive. <laughs> Let me double check if they're putting my glass blocks there really quick. Block vending machine. Okay, good. They're not putting... They're not putting glass blocks there. They are slowly going to put glass blocks here. I would hope. I would hope. Big Boy Jugs is the only one who's mayor. No one else has the has the guts to be mayor but Big Boy Jugs. It's actually incredible. Um, that's about it. A bunch of masterpiece bags, a bunch of rose quartz, gem cutters. Nothing else has happened of note. Several dwarves died to the ritualistic sacrifice of the lava, but that is that is just how things be on a desolate island. You start making shit up, you know? All right. That's going to be it for the night. That's going to be it. Eventful night, I would say. Quite an eventful night. But I do have to get off. I do have to stop. It is the end of the night.